Okay, down here again. Well, I'm learning the little controls of this application as as I go here. Uh, I did have it. I did not have the focus set on auto. I had it on macro on my last video. Well, it's just what I wanted, but it didn't still didn't focus on my fine print. And I don't on this stuff inside the phone. But uh, I don't know. It might do a better job of focusing in auto. Still blurry, but the battery's in it. The SD card is in it. Yeah, you can't focus on that. So the macro was better even than this. I noticed that when you're taking a picture in macro, it looks all blurry until you hit the take picture button, and then it it comes in pretty a lot better. Uh, <coughs> so here it is, ready to be closed up. Now it's pretty easy to tell. There's the can't really see it too well. There it is, the camera. And there's the hole for the camera in the case. I think this is mom's phone. I'm gonna leave the sticker that tells you how to get the lid on and off on it. Once she learns, she can take it off. If, and so at each end, there's not. At first, I was worried about things protruding, like the buttons, for instance. You know, some electronics. The buttons stick out, and you could break them trying to get the covers on and off. But this, they don't do that really. I mean, no, they really don't. But so I don't suppose it would matter. But I feel safer still putting it on the button in first. And that is how they show you to do it in the instructions in the PDF manual that I downloaded. PDF file manual. Yeah, you just push, squish, snap it together. And I have noticed you kind of want to pay attention that it is snapped together. I don't think you can really tell on here. But uh, I can see, I can, <laughs> it depends on the lighting. I can sometimes see it better on the phone than I can in real life. But anyway, and well, I never have light touch screens because you get marks on them fingerprints boy after a day of using these things it's just covered in finger grease body grease so every morning I, I, I just leave them like that overnight because it's probably gonna get dust on them anyway this house is this whole area is dusty the house is dusty I have to dust my monitor every morning so anyway oh now I can see myself how neat so um, <coughs> what I do is clean it with um, I guess I can try and show it. I think it's milder. I think this stuff is a lot milder than it's something I get at Walmart, which is where I got the phones. Wiping clean, and it's kind of a soapy solution instead of strong cleaner like uh, uh, Windex. I used to use Windex, but I don't really use it on plastic. These phones have plastic screens, and I don't use so I don't use that on my monitor. Their plastic screens. <coughs> I don't use it on. I don't use Windex on my monitor or on these phones. So, I mean, I would use it a little. You just don't want to. The thing about like you know these phones and like any electronics, don't let the liquid get inside of them. That's where you're going to get in trouble. But with plastic, you don't want to use anything strong because it could uh, could etch it, etch it basically. You can uh, discolor it. Could uh, it could make that smooth glass finish be rough and you know like uh, matte like like matte photo finish but then you wouldn't be able to see through it too well it could even you know like st stain it I guess you might say if you've ever put any strong cleaner on your tail lights on your car and, and ruined them you know, you know what I'm talking about which I, I haven't ever done that but my neighbor did <coughs> so um, he was asking they were asking me for ideas on how to fix it and uh, all I could think of was trying to polish it out but uh, I don't remember what they did I think they just did their best, left it kind of like it was, but uh, I've ruined all kinds of plastic and everything else. I've lifted paint off of things, you know, with like acetone, for instance. This is a great cleaner. You better wear gloves. It's bad for your hands, but you put acetone on this plastic, and it would probably make it wrinkle. <laughs> it would not, probably not, but uh, it would ruin it, like I'm talking about. So um, I used some last night to clean the. Uh, I was trying to keep the. Um, I bought a new uh, shower curtain rod because the old one was rusty and and it kept falling down. They're those spring type 
anyway, I, ha I had put some sticky. They're really things, you know, like they're sticky on both. They're little, they're uh, foam sticky on both sides, and you can glue, you know, stick stuff to the wall and junk like that. I'd put some of those up there to keep that other one from falling. And then when I got the new one, I didn't want that ugly crap up there, so it, I had to heat it with a hair dryer and then peel it off and then uh, use acetone to get the rest of it off. <coughs> so, uh, acetone, good stuff, not for your phone. Acetone, not for the phone. Okay, or lacquer thinner, or gasoline, or uh, probably not. I wouldn't really use Windex too much because it is fairly strong. It's not going to melt the plastic, but anyway, everybody knows. I guess, well, everybody doesn't know that. Obviously, people do these kind of things all the time, but uh, yeah, and don't use anything that would scratch it because it's plastic. It's it's not. I read on the reviews. Um, the main complaint, the reason this phone was on sale for fourteen eighty eight is because people didn't like. Number one, I could tell because it's a four gig uh, built in memory, uh, not RAM memory, but like SD memory, memory chip, and it uh, they they had they just about fill it up with the what comes with the phone, you know, the apps and the operating the Android Android operating system. There's only a gig left for you to do anything with. So uh, <clears throat> that does fill up really quick because I started putting apps on there. I put an SD card in that 32 gigabyte, but at first I didn't know how to make it be the primary um, drive on the uh, phone. And so I was starting to fill it up. And so I finally figured out how to do that and moved everything over to the SD card. This, These new phones, I'm going to start out <laughs> making the SD card the primary drive try to keep everything but there'll be some cache files and that's the thing you know that gig you get used up with cache files and stuff as you use it during the day especially if you watch videos or make uh, well if you make videos you better make sure they go to your SD card but anyway um, I blank again I go blank a lot like yeah. that so um, <coughs> um, that's good enough I'm rambling again okay this phone's going on the charger and getting re and I'm getting ready to be set up. Since I've experimented on my first one for a week, I've got a pretty good idea what I want to do with this one for mom and uh, what apps. Just a few. I mean, she's just going to use it for a phone and a camera once in a while. Uh, maybe check e her email a little bit, you know, like if the grandkids send her stuff or something like that. So, um, send her pictures and stuff. So, um, yeah, well, that's all I can think of right now. You can almost make that same size. Look at that. You can make, oh, there we go, make the screen. It starts reflecting. But you can make that almost the same size as the video itself. Just by holding that phone in the right place. There's my big ugly nose and face there okay this is done and that's the end of this thing all right bye bye